One, two, one, two. The rich man and Lazarus. The rich man and Lazarus. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen, and he lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side, which is Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. In hate, where he was in torment, he looked up and he saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to get the tip of his finger in water to cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been set in place, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot nor can anyone cross over from there to us. So what is the moral of the story? Yeah. The moral of the story is you reap what you sow on this earth. The things that you do you shall reap. What you say you shall reap. God said, when I was hungry, you did not feed me. When I was thirsty, you did not feed, you did not give me anything to drink. When I needed clothes and I was naked, you did not clothe me. When I needed comfort, you did not comfort me. And the disciples said, Master, when have we done such things? And when have you been in such, in such uh, ways? And Jesus said, What you have done to the rest of my brothers, you have done unto me. Amen. The moral of the story is be good and be kind and love one another and give to your neighbor. Who is your neighbor, you say? Your neighbor is everybody you see. Everybody is your neighbor. You see a man over there in the corner sleeping on nothing but a blanket that's about two years old. He has nothing to eat. He has no money. He has nothing. That's your neighbor. That is your neighbor. Everybody you see in need is your neighbor. Everybody you see that's not in need is still your neighbor. Everybody is your neighbor because Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. Amen. So your impact and your attitude 
towards each other will determine what God has for you on Judgment Day. Amen. That's why we as Christians don't worry about what we have on this earth right now. We don't care what we don't have because we already know what we do have, which is Jesus and riches in heaven. Riches in heaven. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Go ahead, go ahead. Somebody say amen. Go ahead. It's that golden rule. Treat others have the same way you would want to be treated. Suppose you was at the top. And you know somebody who's at the bottom. And then all of a sudden, you're not at the top anymore. Matter of fact, you're down here now. And now you're down to the bottom with him because you lost everything. But guess what? That man that's at the bottom, he's got Jesus. And you went all the way from the top and you wasn't even thinking about Jesus. And he's the one who gave you everything so that you can give him the glory. Don't be a Nebuchadnezzar. So what that illustration is like, the rich man and the poor man. Yes. So what, what went on with them? The rich man had everything. But he was not thinking about the poor man who had nothing. But the poor man had Jesus. And when their, when their time came, the poor man went to Abraham's bosom. Which was a holding place for all the saints in those days. And the rich man went to Hades, which is hell. And the rich man was in torment, eternal torment, eternal fire. And he said, Father Abraham, send, tell Lazarus to send me a drop of water for my burning, burning, aching tongue. Amen. Have you ever put your hand on top of a stove while it was on? Oh, that's hot. Imagine being tormented forever in fire. It's going to be worse than that. Amen. So Abraham had to set him straight. He said, remember the things you did when you had everything and you considered yourself mighty and you didn't give anybody anything. And here is Lazarus with me. Because Lazarus had faith. Lazarus had Jesus. Even though he had nothing on earth, he will have his riches in heaven. But you, on the other hand, are reaping what you sow. You are reaping what you sow. What you sow on this earth will be sowed in heaven. What you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. What you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Amen. That's why you got to live your life as if this was your last day. Because it practically is. And you got to live your life the way Jesus lived his life. Jesus came down to show us how to live a life. How to live our lives among other things. Amen how to live our lives and this is the example we must follow to walk as Jesus walked to do as Jesus did so that we can have salvation justification and be righteous